What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, this is probably a bit of blast from the blast from the past, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I made one of these videos literally years ago now with my Fiesta ST, my original Mark 7 one. We've got the Mark 8 here with us today. And we're gonna be doing car insurance. We're gonna be talking car insurance, but not only are we gonna do that like last time, I'm not doing the same video again. I'm gonna have my screen recording on, on my phone on compare the market showing you how to save money in your car insurance because still I get so many DMs when people ask me even just close friends ask me how to save car insurance and I do quotes them and help them save money amounts of people that ask for it is ridiculous so I'm actually going to be showing you a full on guide on how you can save thousands of pounds and I bet you after the quote I do I've not like tested this or practiced it or nothing it's just from past experience I bet we save hundreds maybe even a grand you never know but like We'll save a lot of money. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get to actually putting a quote in. So the quote I'm gonna be doing is gonna be on my Fiesta track car, which obviously you know is not stock, but we're just gonna put it through for now and just for like a basis. If you are looking for independent modified insurance, highly recommend you go check out the guys Green Light, give them a call. They've always been great quotes for me for modified like extreme modified policies, and a lot of my friends have gone there because of myself. And if you say like B17 I sent you, you may save some money, I don't know. I, I'm not, don't quote me on that, but they're probably more inclined to give you an extra hand and stuff. They've always been great with policy. So, that being that, let's get into this. I'm going to use my Fiesta track car, B7 TMV. Also, um, if you guys don't mind, make sure you check out B7 Performance if you're looking for any parts for your car. We do a whole range of different cars and different parts. And if there isn't your car on there, drop us a message and we can source the part for you. If you're looking for something you can't find, we do price match guarantee. We offer Klarna 0% APR finance. So make sure you check us out if you're looking to upgrade anything in your car. And use discount code new car for the biggest discount you can get on the store. But anyway, less of that, let's get into this video. So as you can see, it says uh, ST2. Because I feel like a lot of you guys may have Fiesta STs or you could have anything. But using this as a base, it's like a little sporty car. Factory fit alarm. No, no, no. Right hand drive. £9,700. We're going to say the car's not modified anyway, just in case your car isn't. And then I can add that on at the end of it and you can see the difference. But like I've said, I've already said where you need to go really if you've got modified. We're going to say we bought it in August this year. So say we've just picked it up, 2022. And we're going to say social, domestic, pleasure and commuting. You may not be commuting or you may be able to get away with not commuting in it and get a ride of a mate, ride a bike. I don't know, use your imagination. Uh, 8,000 miles per year is sort of where I set at. We're going to say street away from home during the day. Um, just because I don't know on people's circumstances what might be. But I always think street away from home could be the cheapest. But I'll tell you what, we'll say an office or factory car park. Just in case you do. And then I'll show you the differences afterwards. And then we're going to say we leave it in a locked garage at night. Um, I usually find out that street outside home is cheaper. So if you do have a garage or a driveway and you can store it outside your home, obviously they don't lie, but if you can leave it there, I would recommend doing so. But we're going to do a lot of garages so I can show the differences. We're going to say we leave it at home, there's three cars at my household, and I have no access to any cars or vehicles, because I'm assuming most people wouldn't. So now I've already done like a tester one earlier, like because it's, because this has my account on here, it's already signed in, but just put all your details in. Uh, do you live at home? Do you own your own home? No, no, no. Obviously, do your address. Your employment status can vary. Like if you're, if you're self-employed, you can sort of change it a bit to what you do. Um, chefs usually have a higher rate because they're used to working later, maybe having a drink before they leave, they're more tired. So, and working in the motor industry usually puts up a bit. So I've just put, I'm employed sales assistant, a hardware retailer, because that used to be my job. I used to work at Screwfix. But obviously, have a play around with it don't be scared to like play a bit obviously don't lie don't do something like if you put part-time education it's a lot cheaper but don't lie and fuck yourself over make sure you're putting the correct information in but be smart with it think oh if i change this to that that is cheaper and that is basically what i do like that's what i've always done don't go to the extreme where you're fucking yourself over though so full license i don't want to provide my license details I will say I've had the license for, I'll tell you what, we'll say between three and four years, uh, say we've got my license July 2019, I guess. No for all the convictions. If you have convictions and stuff, please put them on there. I'm not giving legal advice, but I just recommend it. This isn't guaranteed, but yeah, be, be smart. 
Additional drivers, I always believe lowers the price. Don't be scared to add an additional driver. Just because they're on there, they don't have to drive your car. And as long as the other person hasn't got points or convictions, it brings it down nine times out of 10. Like put your family member on there, your mum or your dad, or even if you want, your mate wants to drive your car now and then. If you put them on there, sometimes it can even just lower it. Like, but don't have to. We're gonna go with none for now, and then I'm gonna show you the difference of when I do add someone. So that's me, I'm gonna go to quotes and it's gonna find them. I usually find that the more providers it gives you, the cheaper it's gonna be, which is good, but less, it's usually more expensive. So it's just searching through now. We're getting a lot of quotes, which I'm really surprised with, because that is, that is good. We've got 80, 103 quote providers, that is fucking good. But I'm also gonna show you how we can cut it down a lot more. Obviously, if you've got no, no claims or whatever, um, that can also, to play a big factor into obviously I believe this is on three or four years no claims I'll check for you but um yeah so I'm assuming no one wants a black box they're saying 12 night of a box should we switch to the one without a box all right so 1300 pound without a box that's not sad that's not too sad that's decent 500 pound um voluntary excess and then we've got no breakdown cover or nothing like that on it I'm just gonna check back and see how many no claims we put so we've got three years no claim discount on that so now what we're going to do is we're going to do it again but so we're going to have the number here because i think it was like 1200 weren't it 12 1300 something like that and i'm going to do it again but i'm going to change the bits around and we're going to see what differences it actually makes so we're going to say social domestic pleasure only say 5000 miles a year instead of 8000 we'll leave it straight away from home Street outside our house. We'll go next. I'm not going to do additional drive yet. I'm going to wait to that separately. And also where you live plays a big factor into it. Uh, the cover. Yeah, we're happy with that. Date to start. Okay, this is a big one. I don't think it showed this page earlier. With, because it was signed to my account, it wouldn't show you. But when it has a start date, if you want it to start on the exact date, it will change a lot but I'm gonna leave it on that for now we're just gonna go with what I've changed there get a quote show you the price then I'm gonna change that again show you it again and hopefully if you're gonna sit just keep decreasing and we'll, bit by bit we're gonna chisel at it and get it lower and lower for you because that's what everyone wants so look I'm already at what, one thousand pound on that one and you saw what I changed I didn't change much I didn't lie I don't have I don't want to store it in the garage now I want to store it outside my house I'm not gonna go park it in the the office car park, I'm going to leave it outside on the street. Because it's going to save money. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is save money. So 105 quotes now. Okay. So we've got 1,083 with that exact same insurer with no box. So we've just saved 200 quid. I pressed about three buttons and it took me two minutes. So now we're going to go again. We're not happy with that yet. So say we've got our brand new car, but so we've got a brand new car, but we don't want we don't want our cover to start that soon. We want to oh, we want to worry too well if this website's not being a twat. So we're going to start on twentieth. I can wait ten days. I've got my new car coming. I don't need it. Let's try it ten days later and see if this makes a difference. Okay, next because what you got to think is in my mindset, you're an insurer. Someone wants to buy insurance and they want to start on that day. They just want to buy it. They're like, yes, I want to buy it. Don't care what the price is. Give me your money. What if I'm like, ah, oh, just insure it in like 10 days. They're not going to be like, ah, oh, yeah, this, this, this. They're not going to try and like make you pay more. You still cover, it's still the exact same length of time. But all we're saying is, I want to insure it 10 days later than what I'm at now. Nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't drive it for 10 days, it could save you some money. So we're going to see if we save any money. Okay. £757 with a black box. £885 without a box. I know you can see it on the screen. Am I a genius or what? Have I just saved you £500 in five minutes? Yes, I have. <laughs> this is what I mean. The exact same one. 958 now. But we've got a better price. But I'm not done yet. I'm not happy with that. I want it less for you guys. I want to save you guys more money because I'm mental. And if you want to thank me for this, leave a like, share the video, and also check out Beast Informants. That's all I'm asking. Nothing else. I'm going to add an additional driver. 
I'm going to add my mama. Now, I'm going to blur this bit because you don't need to see her details, but just add your parent. It's, don't be worried about adding your parent or this or that. They haven't got to drive your car. My mum's petrified of driving any of my cars, which is a lot more policies, just for the sake of it. Okay, so. So I've now added my mum to my policy. I've added my mum. We're going to see. She's not got to drive the car. She's just an additional driver. She's not the name on it. But we're going to see if that's going to affect our policy in any way now and see if we can lower it from that. I mean, it already looks like they're coming in lower, I can't lie. So, fingers crossed this works. Okay, here we go. 827. I can't remember if that's lower or better than before. I'm not gonna lie, don't remember what last one was. But, nevertheless, we're still gonna go. Because, say, you live with your mum, or your mum and dad are separated, or you live in different places. As long as your driver's license is registered to the address that your insurance is, it's fully legal. So I'm gonna now change my address to a different address as if I lived somewhere else with like a different parent or whatever, whatever your circumstances may be. As long as you can get your DVLA license changed to it, it's fully legal. Okay, so now we're gonna go again. We're searching again and you can also change other parts of your license as well, not your license. You can always change other parts of your policy as well, like just little things, just tweak it. Obviously, it always says if you put your driver's license number in when you do your insurance, it's cheaper. I've never actually bothered, but um, apparently it is. So, we can already see that it's going to be cheaper. So, like I said, it, as long as you're not doing illegal, um, do not do anything dodgy or that you're not comfortable with. Don't do it so it's going to damage yourself or if you get into an accident, you're going to be screwed over. But... If you live at your mum's or your dad's or your between houses and it's cheaper to register your driver's license, your living address some at there and you stay there three to two days a week or whatever, do so because it'll save you money. So now we are at, without a box, £532. So we started up here and we are now down here. So we are near on a £1,000 saved. Now I could keep going with this and keep chiseling it down more and more, but... Let me just end my screen recording. I think it's fair to say that I've proved my point of do not go with the first quote you get. Make sure you change certain things because it will, it as you've seen, it drastically changes the price of your insurance premiums and stuff. And yeah, like I can't prove it any more than that. The proof is in the pudding. We started up here and we're now down here. And I could keep going. Like I could get it lower if I wanted to. But I'm not going to waste any more time because I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is this. Don't give in to the first quote. Make sure you shop around. Don't be scared to do that. And make sure that you're being legal and you're, you're fully comprehensive and safe with the insurance cover you have. Because work, look, you never want to get in an accident and you don't have the correct insurance because that is not good at all. But what we've just done there is fully legal. I can register a different house if I lived there. I don't, but if I did, I could do so, right? I've said I want to start it 10 days later. I've said I'm going to park the car outside the public road and leave the car outside the public road because I can do that. That doesn't affect me at all. I didn't even change my job on there. I know that was my previous job, but my own job's just a bit too confusing for it. But I've shown you that these things do affect it. Obviously, your miles, the more miles you say you do a year, it's going to get a bit more expensive, but it's not going to be a lot. So don't screw yourself over on that because they will ask for your mileage and if you do have an accident and you've gone over that they can just refuse to pay out or you can get fined so don't be stupid but be smart like i just showed you it works so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like it's been like three years four years ago since i made this video like this but one of these videos is what made my I don't want to say it made my career because that sounds stupid, but it boosted me a lot on YouTube and helped a lot with getting growth from everywhere else. So I thought I'd do another one, but an actual breakdown and show you guys how much money I'm saving you. So leave a like, comment down below if you saved any money in insurance. Hit the subscribe button, like I said, share it around. Check out b7performance.com. Use discount code NEWCAR to save yourself some money. And like I said, have a good one. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace. Make sure you subscribe. I'm watching you.